Microsoft's bringing Android apps to Windows 11, but the Indian who's been doing that for a decade is not worried. Hello and welcome to Inventiva. This is Palak Yadav presenting to you today's Big News. There is a pull in the market from consumers and that pull in the market is creating this space, which is everybody wants to use their apps on a PC or a Mac, Rosen Sharma, the chief executive of Bluestacks, underlines. Why he believes Microsoft's move to bring Android apps natively on Windows 11 will only benefit his visualization platform that allows users to run Android apps on a PC. Sharma says it is consumers who want to use their smartphone apps on desktops, forcing companies like Microsoft, Apple and Google to look at this space more seriously. The use case can become so dominant that they are almost forced to join the party, Sharma tells us. Now, Microsoft recently surprised many when it announced that it is bringing Android apps to Windows 11. But there was already a way to do it through Bluestacks, a popular and free emulator for running Android apps on Windows and Mac OS platforms. In fact, Bluestacks has 40 million monthly active users and over 180 million downloads per year, reaching a total of 1 billion downloads till date. While news of the revamped Microsoft Store, which will have a section on Android apps when Windows 11 ships uh, later this year, created a lot of hype, the truth is you won't be able to download the apps from the Google Play Store. Instead, the Android apps will be available through Amazon's App Store. Yes, they are Android apps but only, but they come without Google Play services. The key Android experience that will be available on devices running Google's Android mobile operating systems. Plus, Amazon's App Store is barren with no Google-made apps to be found. Even not all apps from Microsoft are not there. If you want to build a commercial product in this space, just because an app can, can run doesn't mean the app is usable. For a demo, I can take the TikTok and say it works, but in reality, those apps including Snapchat are not usable because the cameras on the PCs are not good enough for those filters to work. I think it's one thing just demoing and another thing making an app usable by consumers, he said. The problem is most apps are designed for touch and not built for mouse and keyboard. Now who is going to do the work to make them playable with mouse and keyboard? There is a lot of tech that goes into this that Bluestack supports, he said, adding that Microsoft is in the early stages in this evolution. Citing the example of Apple, he said Cupertino has also been facing a similar issue of bringing iOS apps to Mac OS, but its problems are different from Microsoft. For years, Microsoft has been trying to get developers on board and make its app store as competitive as Apple's and Google's, but that hasn't worked out for the Redmond-based software powerhouse. But under the leadership of Satya Nadella, Microsoft is once again wooing developers by letting them use their own payment platforms to charge consumers, allowing them to keep 100% of the revenue they make from their apps. This is a different strategy, in fact completely opposite to App Store policies by Apple, which has long insisted that developers use its own payment technology and takes as much as 30% of any revenue generated from apps. Microsoft embracing openness and the revival of an App Store show why the company wanted Android apps on its new Windows 11 operating system, something that was already always possible through the emulator software. But Microsoft faces a unique challenge, not just from established app marketplaces like the Apple App Store and Google Play Store, but also from Steam and the Epic Game Store, two popular stores for downloading PC games. Getting the attention of developers to publish the app on the Windows Store isn't going to be easy. 